Hello, and today I'm going to I'm trying to explain and show you how I make all uh, cursor comparison video. And I'm sorry about the background noise today because it's quite a sunny day today. It was raining yesterday, and now it's sunny, and everyone started to come outside and um, breathe some fresh air. Well, I'm just trying to be nerd and stay at home. Anyway, um, so if you don't know what's cursor comparison, you can go ahead and search. Uh, there's like a bunch of videos doing this, and it's quite fun to watch. So uh, I get why people want to make this kind of video. So um, I also make like quite a lot of other versions. So kind of learning from uh, inside, I believe. Um, so I will try to explain I think uh, the original video uh, of me uh, I mean get inspired is from Fun Orange where he make uh, this video he kind of provide a skin download and I kind of dig in through and uh, kind of sort out how it works but uh, I'm gonna try um, a method that I use, um, maybe it's not how uh, the orange and uh, he intended to, but uh, it works out for me, and I think it's uh, okay. So then let's get to the video. So this is my first time using Flaps to uh, record my editor because uh, my OBS uh, quit the job; it doesn't want to capture. Anyway, so um, before we start it, I want to uh, kind of try to demonstrate uh, what's going on um, when you are going to record this kind of stuff. So first, we could have a look about uh, something that I have pre-recorded, and as you can see, uh, there's quite a lot of video. Uh, this is my method, uh, which uh, uh, recording. Uh, individual footage like this one with only a um, blue cursor going on and this one with red cursor going on and that's the um, uh, auto play without any cursor uh, just only click circles and sliders maybe I will try to enlarge this so you can read it much better so uh, cursor 1 Cursor 2, you can add more if you want, but I usually only recommend it 2 because uh, once you add more than that, it's starting to look pretty messy, like um, this video I did. I think it's back here. Uh, it's still okay, but when you start to move a lot, uh, you see there's too much movement and uh, quite getting messy, so I don't recommend that. Um, so I usually only six with two, or even just one, uh, with only auto play, and with me, which uh, I can't remember wh which video I did. Uh, whatever. So in the editor, um, here we have uh, fully auto, auto play, and then we add a blue cursor or any cursor you wanted basically let's just kind of replay it it's not gonna look good because uh, I have to minimize uh, the resolution uh, in order to keep this video fluently it's using quite a lot of my processor uh, while I'll try to demonstrate and while recording it so uh, Apologies for that. I have a not so great computer. So um, as you can see, um, what we basically need is to modify our skin first. So we need a skin that has only uh, elements, but without the cursor. So I think I put it in here. This one. I will um, just um, provide a. Uh, download link of what I have pre-made but you can always modify it by yourself just um, we need two separate skin ones for uh, cur um, not cursor uh, elements only where you put your uh, 
pit circles and the things you want to show as the background. And then we need a skin which minimizes all the stuff except for the cursor, which will use the cursor trail. Uh, I believe it's called cursor trail. Yeah, that's this. Uh, oh, wait, is it? I forgot. I think it is. Um, yeah, I think it's the cursor trail. We can check it in here. Yeah, cursor trail. So, um, basically the cursor trail uh, will be the cursor when it moves like that. So, um, you could make your own one, but here I just make it, um, I already made it here, so um, these I will just put it in a, in a description for you guys to download. So, um, with that said, uh, you can just start to make your own um, comparison video. So let's head to O's and see what we need to do. So let's get started with the setting first. Um, so firstly, I would like to um, keep the flame rate limited to unlimited. Uh, it's up to you, some of my uh, software only recognize uh, 60 frames per second only, so uh, it's up to you, but I usually stick with unlimited because I can. And, oh, and one thing that I recommended um, is to update your uh, OS to uh, the latest version. Um, if you are using it already, then that's fine. But if you are using fallback, I recommend to use lattice because you could remove um, the uh, scroll and um, what's that called? I can't remember. The bar and when you replay, there's like a uh, now playing uh, a scroll and bar and going through. Uh, you can disable it in lattice version, but. Uh, if you still have to use fallback to record your video fluently, then that's fine. It's only going to be a matter where it shows the now playing um, scenes. So, uh, that's one to mention. Uh, resolution is all up to you. And the detail settings, I usually keep all the stuff uh, closed. And also the sneaking sliders because first, this thing uh, messed up with my eyes when I'm trying to play, and second, it, it kind of messed up when uh, in the final uh, post-editing, because we'll need to use uh, Gamma Key, uh, but Snake Insiders, it makes a uh, kind of a fading effect, which uh, kind of ruins the video. I didn't look, find out it looked good. Um, rest of stuff are still uh, okay background theme of course but we'll remove the background in just a second uh, score meter type I like to keep it off because I don't want any other stuff that uh, shows on the screen so I keep it off music I find oops uh, I'll just wait for that big truck to uh, go over um, it's up to you because uh, we are going to uh, record uh, auto um, playing it so uh, there should have like no uh, bad uh, offset uh, hit, hit, uh, hit sounds so it should be okay but it's up to you if you want to uh, record <coughs> your uh, hit, uh, hit sound with your play and it's up to you and uh, we can change our skin to uh, I would like to start with uh, players with uh, the cursor moving uh, I got two version actually uh, this one with uh, much uh, fluently uh, cursor here you can see and with uh, a slightly bigger but a visible uh, gap it's all up to you, uh, depend on uh, the style you like and uh, uh, edit editing you may prefer uh, after uh, uh, 
uh, post post uh, post editing that kind of stuff and and if you want to change the uh, the distance of the cursor I think and you can change it with the cursor size here uh, basically bigger you can see that it's much more visible uh, so it's all up to you I usually keep it with 1.5 that's perfect it's readable and without being too big um, if you are going to recall multiple cursor you can go down to 0 0.7 it's quite thin but um, I don't really recommend it because I could start seeing gaps and that's not going to look good on uh, the final uh, video for me so the rest of the stuff uh, should be okay now so let's pick a song uh, I'm just going to use uh, the one I showed you before which is this song that I might play when you find cents um, so here I got a uh, two replace so you could just uh, hit uh, record and sign to um, uh, replay the footage like no more but with a uh, skin that has no elements on so you can see that uh, it kind of jumps those uh, two stuff at the right corner so we can just click it and disable it um, you can hit shift plus tab to disable um, more elements but uh, what we want to do in the latest version is to hit edge when you hit edge everything just disappeared and even with the replay um, the now playing uh, now here scoring it's quite annoying so and uh, you can get rid of it in a uh, latest version but you cannot do it in uh, fallback version so uh, there's advantage and disadvantages it's all up to you so um, basically uh, what we'll try to do is uh, try to uh, replay but with everything minimized so uh, we can just hit the replay and quickly hit the edge button uh, we can try that again it's almost perfect yep so as you can see you know we are literally uh, start recording without any elements um, playing um, because I hit the edge button uh, quickly enough before the um, element shows up and <coughs> now it just records um, for the uh, cursor object but you can see that there's still um, some uh, sliders that are visible uh, those are the um, middle beam uh, this cannot be removed as far as I tested and um, you might be able to do it in the future if um, Pepe uh, is going to make the curse uh, slider um, being uh, adjustable with pictures like other elements they do but right now it's the, the only stock um, settings is going to be like this for the best <coughs> it's okay we can um, edit it um, in the final uh, post editing so let's um, blow cursor record we can ignore this uh, uh, ranking status uh, because you can always record your own with your favorite skin okay so uh, once we have uh, a cursor recorded, now we are going to record one with um, auto. So let's look for the skin with auto. So as you can see, there's uh, no cursor, so um, you can have to um, move your mouse around and see where the uh, cursor goes. So um, go to your song, and it's pretty much um, hard to. Uh, Actually, I can still click stuff, but yeah, uh, you can't see the cursor. It's kind of annoying, but you have to keep in that. Now we want to record um, the auto. So uh, originally, um, I just uh, let the mods like this kind of mods visible, but there's only going to be one problem, and it's still going to show on the screen even when you hit shift plus tab or edge button 
Um, <coughs> so what I do is um, I uh, set the auto uh, the auto buttons uh, icon to uh, transparent. So now you cannot click it, and even you can, you can't find it. Uh, I can't find my cursor already. Oops. Um, so what I want to do um, easily uh, just hit F1 and then the V button. So now it enables uh, the auto. As you can see, there's like a um, a blur, a bloom, in in that con uh, next to the spawn out and underneath the hidden mod. So now we can just hit two to close it and hit enter to start record. And again, uh, we want to do this very quickly because um, we want to hit H. So it kind of uh, just uh, disable all the elements. Now we are just recording with um, the background and uh, has only hit circles and sliders. Um, one thing I like to mention is that I uh, kind of deleted the background. And uh, this one has Andrea uh, has a background. Oops, I cannot find my cursor now, so that's an issue. Oops, where is it? Yeah, <laughs> uh, I need my cursor to show you this stuff. And uh, just use my favorite uh, cursor here and kind of just turn it back um, so originally it has the uh, background but I kind of just uh, cover it with uh, black so uh, when we finally use a gamma key there's like nothing will um, uh, inference I think that's how you say it so we can uh, use uh, here in the uh, editor Click file and then open song folder. Now I have to uh, set my capture to uh, one of the window. I think it's this one. Yes, it is. Now I'll just zoom in. So and um, this is the original picture. Uh, it's a sense.png. Uh, I just um, right click and use edit and simply just uh, cover it with uh, black as you, can, as you can see here this is the original picture I usually keep them uh, in case I want to switch them back now uh, you don't have to um, you don't have to record every of your footage with a uh, black uh, background uh, but I do really recommend it uh, at least uh, when you are going to record um, the replay of your cursors but if you are going to do it with auto then that's fine because uh, you can uh, we are not going to do um, chroma key at the auto background so it's totally fine so we can do this again with uh, probably background theme about 70% and uh, it's totally fine because we are not going to do a uh, chroma key at the background usually so we can just uh, record it with auto and then of course like that uh, yeah basically it is uh, now uh, one thing to mention is that um, in this picture of background it's not that visible but uh, let me try to switch to other brighter background and uh, this is okay so probably good for demonstration uh, as you can see at the right side here we can see the uh, key so usually those are intended to be totally pitch black so you won't be able to see but if you turn the dim uh, it will be visible so uh, something to consider about uh, it's all up to you again. Um, you can mess around with the settings. You don't have to be exactly um, uh, do this and that like me. Okay, so and I want to talk about more about um, recording. 
Okay, so depending on your software, uh, I'm going to use open bucket software. You can use dictionary, flaps, anything you like. But what we want to try to do is to go to settings and the video uh, basically set the resolution you want to record and basically uh, just fill the entire oath enough. And here we want to set the uh, bitrate. Uh, the video bitrate to be as uh, reasonable as possible. Um, in 720p, I recommend to do with um, 5000. In 1080p, I had to go like 8000 or more um, because I don't want to have like a, a mosquito a noise uh, in the background when we try to record it. Um, it would be hard to. Uh, use current key uh, in the, uh, the final editing because uh, it's going to cause some issues like we don't we want to keep the background as mm, uh, pure black as possible uh, so I do recommend to recording high bit rate but if your um, hardware can't handle that um, it just uh, a matter of uh, kind of turning it down, but if your covers are too crappy, then I um, think it won't be recommended to record with um, recording a cursor comparison video. Okay, so uh, now we got the footage. Uh, I already got some here. We have blue with uh, 1.5x uh, of cursor size, blue with uh, 0 0.75 x size of um, cursor and then the red one and then finally the auto so uh, let's start a new project of the file maybe I'll just use new workspace now um, uh, the editing software doesn't have to be the one I'm using now I'm using a po a po power director it's a kind of weird um, and unusual uh, software, maybe in, uh, outside of uh, American and other region, but here in Taiwan it's kind of popular. So I'm going to use that, but you could always do this in uh, Sony Vegas Pro, um, Premiere Pro, I believe that's how you say it. Um, as long as they have the feature of uh, doing Gamma Key. Uh, chroma key. Okay, uh, that's quite accurate. I keep saying it wrong. So uh, it's called chroma key. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, English is not, not my native native language. Okay, so um, so I'm just going to do an example in here with a power director. As I said, you can do it with other software uh, as long as I have chroma key. Alright, so I would like to try uh, closing some stuff up because this is going to be uh, quite uh, quite doing hard task on my computer. As you can see, I'm really using some of my processor um, now. Okay, so let's start with auto first. So we'll just drag uh, and drop the auto file. I'll try to uh, maximum the it. So uh, let's see where uh, the footage starts. Uh, this is not it because I still have uh, other s uh, elements here. So I think it's much more backward here. Okay, yeah, I think this is it. Now I would like to uh, start um, going frame by frame where uh, it almost hit the hit circle and start to move so I think it's around this and just kind of uh, cut it uh, making marks if your editing software can do that but uh, here we the software we can so I'll just um, make a cut here uh, if your software can uh, do like uh, this where you can add back the footage at where you cut it like that then it's um, 
it's okay, but if not, then I think uh, Vegas Pro cannot do that, so uh, you can keep the footage where you cut it, but it'll be much harder to edit, so I do keep it uh, simple. Um, here I just do it, uh, started where all the uh, historical uh, started first, uh, the first click. So now we have our auto here with the first click at the first uh, frame. So now we can uh, disable, uh, kind of just disable the track and then start to add blue one, a uh, cursor you want to add it. So uh, let's see where it started. I think I kind of do it a bit more. Okay, I think that's perfect. Now, um, when recording uh, the cursor, I always like to uh, keep the sound on uh, because um, when you try to edit it, you can f see that um, it's not visible to see where uh, the uh, when did you hit the uh, circles. So uh, I will try to. Uh, keep the vi uh, audio so as you can see that um, in my software I have this uh, waveform so I could just uh, kind of measure out maybe the, uh, the hit started like in this part so I'll just cut it and um, move it all the way to the beginning where it matches the auto we want to keep them um, as um, match as possible, so maybe moving this like that. And we can uh, verify it by uh, listening to both of auto and the blue, um, the cursor channel. So I'll raise out the volume a little bit. As you can see, uh, they kind of sound in, um, in phase. But that's fine, that's totally perfect. And that means that we have uh, literally a uh, perfect time, um, both video of where it clicks. So uh, that was good in first try. <laughs> okay, so um, in final editing, uh, when we're going to output the video, we will be disabling the cursor uh, audio. So, um, and finally, we'll be able to. We're only gonna hear the perfect uh, hit sounds from auto. Okay, okay. so um, we can try to add more uh, cursor if you want. It's just the same um, process, but I'm just gonna keep things simple in here. Uh, so uh, I think you guys know what what I mean. Oh my god, there's so many motorcycles and cars uh, passing from <laughs> here. That's quite annoying, but that's where I live. Alright, so um, we can now just put back the video, I think. Uh, this is where I try to um, pull back the video where it's solid, uh, where the song started and the end. So that's perfect. Now we are going to do chroma key. So I like to keep both uh, channel on now. As you can see here, uh, we have the auto channel on and then the cursor one. Uh, as you can see, it's going to cover it up. So we won't be able to see the uh, auto playing, but that's going to change soon. So um, looking for the settings where you can uh, change the chroma key. Here it just says PIP designer, uh, where you just double click the um, the track, and it comes up with this uh, editor, and it's quite convenient, nice design, power director. So here you can see uh, here's the chroma key, and I'm just gonna pick the black color in the video. If it was not um, uh, a default. In black then you're gonna pick it up the background color and then we um, 
depend on your software and there's gonna be there could probably be like some settings to do uh, but for um, default as you can see uh, we can try to looking for the uh, footage where it has quite a long cursor here and uh, the cursor trail has this from started to the end that kind of fade in so if we turn the chroma key you see it's kind of uh, uh, delayed it a little bit but that's totally fine because we left uh, enough of uh, distance of the cursor so usually that's not a problem and since we have recorded a video in high bit rate, so it should have um, uh, less noise than um, we usually record it before if uh, depend on your settings um, but here I'm going to do something even more advanced because did you remember we have this um, uh, kind of visible slider still it's kind of white the stuff uh, so we can try to get rid of it if your software can uh, as a control of the tolerance of saturation or luminance or the edge sharpness okay that's too many cars passing through my house what the hell um, so the hue is not going to change anything because there's no color in black usually um, but now we are going to change the saturation and you can see some differences so here um, we turn the saturation all the way off and you can see uh, you start to make some noise here so um, even if I record in very high bit rate there should be some uh, noise so uh, you have to depend on your editing software see if you can get rid of this if I turn the saturation just on for a little bit maybe 5 is just enough and you can see that you get rid most of the uh, noise next to the uh, cursor and uh, still left a good distance of the cursor trail now we can uh, adjust the luminance as you can see uh, if we turn it all the way off you can see the uh, slider uh, on the cursor trail video it's very visible so we can uh, turn it all the way up to where it uh, disappear in my settings I like to keep it 25 so that's looking great. Now we can add, uh, edit the sharpness. As you can see, it's kind of like a, um, a visible of this uh, slider. It's uh, already uh, invisible enough, but if we turn it all the way up, we can make it um, all the way visible. Invisible, I mean. So here I like to turn at 4.32 and that's pretty much perfect we kept the original and uh, sliders at the auto video footage but uh, with a clear cursor trail so we can save it and move back to the uh, editing software now we can just try to replay it and that's looking quite nice I would say it's almost perfect but there's just one slightly annoying thing um, as you can see in the video in the right corner here we have like uh, this uh, user stuff if you're going to record this in offline then that should have no problem but uh, we can get rid of it by uh, putting a color board on it because uh, there's not going to be um, stuff going um, there uh, the, those buttons so and usually I just put a color board but as you can see it covers the whole um, video so I'm just going to uh, disable the um, you should have the settings where uh, maintain the expect ratio here so I could adjust the size wherever I want it so let's move like into this uh, video so we can just um, put it in the corner and uh, mask it out like that 
So uh, we basically uh, made a perfect video. I can still see that a little bit, so I'll uh, kind of enlarge a little bit because uh, sometimes it doesn't show right if you put it in the uh, uh, perfect size. So uh, we can preview the whole footage again, and that's looking perfect. I say it's kind of messy because I left the. Uh, the follow points in the auto, uh, so that's looking quite messy when too much objects moving on. Oh wait, I know why. Uh, oh no, it's not. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I thought I kept the uh, auto cursor on, but it's not in this case. I just uh, it just looks quite messy in here. Maybe bad sound, or I set the cursor a little bit too much too big but whatever it's almost perfect uh, for me it's good enough so you can like um, start at your uh, intro and maybe put some objects like scores like other um, videos on YouTube they did or maybe uh, a bunch of uh, random stuff like uh, a park licking the mirror over and over in one of the corner whatever and then we can just go to uh, export our video out so uh, basically this is it this is uh, a whole process of me um, uh, making the making this cursor comparison video so um, yeah, pretty much that's it. Uh, I'm going to show uh, put the final footage at the end of the video, so you can see how it looks like in this video. Uh, you can also check my other uh, cursor comparison video in my channel. You can uh, clearly see uh, how they work and how they kind of uh, Im improve over time because uh, each of them are quite different, I added them differently, but this is the one I found the m um, most uh, uh, this much successful way it's much cleaner and uh, I would say it's easy for me to uh, work with so I think uh, basically this is it so uh, thank you for your watching if you have any question you can leave it and the common size a uh, common side um, down the common selections I believe oh my god <laughs> this video is pretty terrible because uh, my English is not so great kinda nervous when making this video so, but whatever uh, I'm going to end record and uh, yep yeah, see you in the next video